Once you on, yeah. Once you on, yeah. Once you on, making us spread Corona. Yes. Once I hold ten, making us catch Corona. Yes. Once I with soap, making us spread Corona. Yes. Wash up for twenty seconds, make you avoid Corona. Yeah. Now sneeze, now you on, making us catch Corona. Hey. Coffee so you elbow, not spread Corona. Yeah. Avoid contact, making us catch Corona. Yeah. When man sick, avoid, not spread Corona. Yes. This message is powered by Afrocell because we care. They say we slept in one world and woke up in another. This global tragedy got humans together despite our social distancing. Our nature is taking a break. And giving us a wake up call on what and who truly matters. Look around you. Hold on, breathe, count your blessings, take time for self-renewal, for a better start tomorrow. Soon, life will be back. Meanwhile, let's stand apart together, with one heart. Imagine your life without connection. Every change comes with new challenges and opportunities. So now is the time for a new normal, new habits, new ways of communicating your love, needs, and ambitions. Africa makes it possible. Staying apart, together, with one heart.
colpo di testa per Calò, attenzione Calò, gol, 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 It is the What's Happening Breakfast Show on Afro Radio and the time for us 2 o'clock now is at 10 a.m. We are in the final hour of the show and it's now time for us to uh, um, uh, go into the detail blazer segment. So just so you know, may, please explain to from you, you know, what do you mean by the blazer? Just so you get to understand because, uh, you know, we've been doing this. Uh, we've had so many um, top people coming on the show. Well, trailblazer, the, the word trailblazer means like a pioneer, somebody where they like start something, a movement, you understand, yeah. and where plenty of people have not ever, you know, deem for start, like they think say, they're not going to make them, but the person start them, and at the end of the day, make them and leave a blueprint yeah. where other people and they follow. So those people, we call them trailblazers. All right, well, um, so uh, we've talked to uh, several people um, on uh, the Trailblazers show, and um, uh, today uh, we are going to be talking to the legendary Mohamed Kalon, um, uh, of course, uh, a Syrian superstar um, in football, and uh, you know, we don't do so much. So, he's going to be on Trailblazers today. The reason why is uh, because, um, uh, as of uh, um, 
recent he just gets um a license for you know for a grade a license coach yeah. mm -hmm. uh where you qualify him for coach even the uh, big teams in the world, yeah. like so for uh, Manchester United, mm -hmm. the likes of Arsenal, mm -hmm. you understand the likes of all the teams that we you know so normal big teams in the world, Mamaka is a licensed coach to be to, for coach anyone for anything. And yeah. he's the first footballer. <laughs> so uh we love that the fact that um you don't set this milestone and um show some people who can follow, or follow in, in, in footstep and 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 uh, just so you know the team of course he owns the FC Calon. Team. football team and he was the captain of the national team mm -hmm. Leon Stars. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well just so we take on as we um uh, he hailed from Kenema district yes um he came to Freetown um he went to the um St. Edward's uh, primary and secondary school um and um, he did a whole lot for uh St. Edward's uh, um high school secondary school tender when he was St. Edward's assigned for if he played for FC Cal um all the audience, yes. uh, I should say, well, the FC Colonia made it past back and then <laughs> he went on to um, the top, 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 top level played alongside um, Ronaldo, yeah. Zinedine Zidane, mm -hmm. um, Rui Koba, mm -hmm. um, Christian Vieira, mm -hmm. um, uh, Zanetti, who is the, I understand, is the director now of uh, uh, football in, in Inter Milan, yeah. all them big cons and they make our associate with and even the even president of Liberia, right? Yes, now. George Opong, yeah. yeah. So he he was uh, like the the so George Opoya, Mami Kalona being young, small, yeah. like somebody who had been the groom mm -hmm. for the, the bigger stage, you know, mm -hmm. they're they are close friends and, uh, you know, he's, he's done a whole lot when it comes to um, Sierra Leone football and, of course, for himself, you know, he captain the national team, yeah. he he been the two supports, like, you know, make sure the national team travel to different places, you know, get the exposure and he, he doing best the tender way he may play for. The national team. So in Ainga for being a special uh, guest today on the Trailblazer. Yeah. Any time from now, we'll try to establish contact with him and uh, you know uh, get for uh, talk to him uh, lengthily about um, the yeah, whole exactly. thing. Yeah. And of course, um, uh, this milestone way it don't make so not necessary. Well, well, just so you know, in the last border, uh, in big border, I get Musa Kalon mm. and um, uh, Kemukai Kalon, and they all don't do so well. You know, uh, when it comes to um, football in other countries, it's like football the inside and family, yeah. inside and blood, mm -hmm. you know. And so we can talk more to them. And also he was born on the 6th of October, uh, 1979. And of course, he don't do a whole lot to represent Sierra Leone in and out of Sierra Leone. That now one person we always proud for be a Sierra Leone, and trust me. So today we're going to talk to him and he's going to tell us more about himself. So just stay glue. You don't want to go anywhere. Me, I'm so excited for talk to them. You know, <laughs> really, I am. You know, growing <laughs> up, you know, we all on dance. Mama, Kalon, yeah, look, Kalon, look, Kalon, on my Jeep, the pass. You know, it was exciting. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, 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 um, uh, you know, um, we could definitely establish contact with anytime uh, soon. And, uh, uh, the, when, when, when you're talking about uh, Mom and Kalon, you talk about the, you know, look, Mom and Kalon, <laughs> oh my, you know, like um, he has to film at a very young age, yeah. and um, he decided for to stay very consistent, and then uh, you know, play for teams say like uh, Monaco, play for Regina, they play for um, AK Antens, um, Al Shabab, um, he also play for. Um, well, young, young team, uh, FC Calon, he also played for FC Calon, but, uh, you know, he played for Ole Lodi and said, uh, I think he gets in first break where he go Lebanon. That was the first time he gets in, um, you know, the first break where being a professional. And in Lebanon, he was very popular, you know. So mm -hmm. uh, I remember um, talking to some Lebanese friends, then, you know, where we've been able to school, uh, they will definitely talk about Mom and Calon because when <laughs> time they go back on holidays, um, when they follow the, the, the league in Lebanon, it really makes so much headlines. Stay with us, don't go anywhere. Um, well, we just have to establish contact with him. Uh, well, well he's we, there. He's there. So, um, um, but um, I think he's here with us, but they, they upside down. Upside so, down. So, so, so <laughs> what that you get for all time for? Uh huh. Perfect. Perfect. Good morning. Um, <laughs> Well, Mickey always call and cheer. Uh, good morning, um, uh, Mohamed Kalon. Welcome to the What's Happening Breakfast Show. Good morning. Good 
<laughs> good morning, guys, and good morning to all viewers. <laughs> We're so happy to have you with us today. A pleasure to have me as well. Yeah. All right, okay. So um, we want to start with congratulations first. We want to tell you congratulations on exactly what you don't do um, for Salon and what you recently just don't do, you know, like um, um, a news way. All selling as right now. We are so happy uh, for this news, and um, we're doing what we call a trail blazer. And I'm sure you know. So I want to bring you come on this show just so you talk to people and and uh, you know motivate people and for me and know say what you don't do so another person care for Duan. But we get for talk all now and day. So we are going to start with you, Ali, uh, live. You know, growing up at least. Uh, I'm sure you story it all over the wall. Everybody know about you. But for the benefit of people and we, you know, not to get this opportunity for go check, this is why we're doing this show. So we want you for talk to me a little bit about yourself first before we come for talk about the things that we you don't do. So when you're listening right now, they watch me on Facebook, go on for know who is Mohamed Kalon? Hey, well, again, no time here for one down to me. You have like we get an, like a whole hour just for let you tell you a whole lot about you because we really want for no Uratna you today coming from your mouth. Um, me and Mohammed Kalon uh, come from a humble background, I'm born as on your street and grew up with a um, family of seven mm. uh, brothers and uh, four sisters, and uh, mean. I start my whole life like any other um, vulnerable or underprivileged picking the group from Sierra Leone, go primary school, difficulties for getting in all the amenities for go school, make an up to secondary school. And then I fall in love with football, where I think it stands for me to other ability. Um, I start for playing you know, within the streets of three time, mini leagues, little corners and all, until I reach the age for begin playing with the first division. And um, I get the opportunity. Uh, hmm. for, I get the opportunity. <laughs> and on, and um, to a friend of mine, when, uh, I mean, Ali Abdallah Koluze, when he was in Papa Ali Papa Guys TV. Um, during the days, we would play for Edward. So ABC are very, very dedicated, are very, very I mean, ambitious. Um, so I think it's one of the qualities that I'm always seeing me and he believes, say, if he take me outside with that opportunity that I'm going to make use of him. Then okay. So. Mr. Kalon, let's just stop there because we get for each day and you get for talk to me more about that one. But let's just go back, you being a kid, yeah? What type of a kid were you? You know, me to go some picking or you know, me camp picking or what? Mm, what should I go with some? Hmm. Um, I've been... <laughs> Difficult because uh, I do not to be. Um, I'm be very, very isolated, very quiet. And uh, uh, but you know, when we all grow up, I mean, at the early age on the street, I mean, all the stuff that we will forget, you know, for make sure so we for entertain people. Um, and then when you begin playing at the little crowd, the mini fields, the mini leagues, them, then people they begin cheer you up, they begin build your confidence, and begin make you realize, say you get potential for be somebody in the near future, then you begin, okay, accommodate that, that kind that type of life there. But it starts to be very, very difficult for our able for just losing in life would be really, really difficult. So, but um, me big, me all about Aona Musa in very, very outgoing, very outspoken, in very, in very strong to that angle there. But to me, I'll be very, very quiet. Up to now, I don't know if I'm quiet anymore, but um, I just let go with the system. Okay, let, let's talk about how it be time, like for you, like as soon as you start, you state say you, you were like an underprivileged, you know, like any picky way, grab up from a poor family. How down it be time, like for you growing up now, Kenema? Um, for say, what well, I say underprivileged, I mean, all the picking them from Africa, from Spion as a whole, then they get the right childhood um, opportunity, facilities for say. So, like for example, so I get picking way, me picking way old, me, me son way old, 13 years old. I know how much I love him. I try for give call satisfaction, whatever things he won't forget. At that kind of early age, they fully able to think about in childhood and be very, very. So you go buy for a PlayStation, you go buy for any kind of thing you eat at that age day. Okay. You know what? All of that it deserve. Him. So, like a winner will be deprived. I'm say, okay, we come up from a deprived community. Yeah. We come a privileged kid because my papa, my mama not be able to afford in waiting for satisfaction. So we just live with the basic maybe two 
maybe sometimes one meal a day, or sometimes, I mean, if you got me, I could get to me. I don't ever get back. Get up, dinner table, I mean, serve you with plates or whatever, I never get that kind of opportunity. So, not that at the time. Right, you, let, let me talk about your schooling. Um, you, you talk about um, growing up in the uh, uh, St. Edward School. Um, um, where you really go uh, at that time where you've been small, you know. Uh, talk me through how you've been talent for, you know, you don't mention the, the things, I mean, the, that's, it's a, it's a boys' school, and, uh, you know, I know how it difficult, me, of course, and also, so I know how we've been dead, but uh, you, your, your era, you know, tender we did, tender this primary school, how you've been talent for you, and, uh, you know, be knowing fully well that's football and the team where you've been really one for, for follow. I think, sir, I would be very, very grateful to the mighty school, the best school in Sierra Leone, the make part for life, for waiting them and give to me, waiting and transmit to me. Because I think say now we, we, we get are we that I think say that we are the last batch that we get the, the opportunity, the privilege for go to the Catholic for the fathers. I mean during lunchtime, they will give you condor, they will give you milk, bulgur, all this other stuff. They will give you lunch after school. I think say we go to day before ever everything changes. So I'm very grateful, I'm very proud, I mean, for being part of um Central School. I got it from primary school and then I make it up to secondary. That's nice. No, um, so we we're still moving with with the conversation now. Um, when the um, uh, you, 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 the, the sports you talent, are uh, you talk about um, Ali, uh, some a friend of you where you say in daddy, I can see how serious you can be about football and how passionate you can be about about football. When when that time they been come, you know, when they approach you, how you been accepting that kind uh, approach? They waiting be your own feeling at that time because it was football that you wanted to play. Yeah, but as you know, say the opportunities, you know, they come that much from Sierra Leone. International school agents, they nobody cancel on that much. Only one of them is going to be broken. We can take a lot of freedom, the Juno Parade, the Galon. That was a lot of yeah, the opportunity. We all go on a tryout, but I'm not be fortunate for making up to the squad because I don't think, say, I'll be, I'll be up to, to the standard, as they mm -hmm. say. I mean, I take her in good faith and then I work on myself. I begin to work very, very hard, train twice a day until, I mean, myself gets me up, I mean, for move out. So, yeah. sports, um, it'd it be just like a train in Sierra Leone whereby every year from the age of in school lock in June, July, and can get all the years, many leagues all around the country. Mm -hmm. So, and we they play the leagues then days. So, playing all the leagues, so the whole means area, the old communities, the, every community don't know about you because they play in a different communities then. So yeah. then people they get them begin build. Oh, small calon, because I mean, also they call me small calon, because I'm the young. So they begin call me the small calon, and uh, everybody in the name begin go around and around. Then begin play for, first I begin play for Edwards Primary School. So all they play against the great schools like Cathedral, Trinity, this, the school, they were very, very tough in terms of any football. And uh, so my name don't begin scatter already spread around the country already before I make her to Edwards Secondary. So I mean, I be the captain at the primary school, then I get to the secondary school. From two, I become the captain. And you know, when you play secondary school league, the school league was very, very big before with the intersect, mm -hmm. not division and uh, violence and all. Before it was so competitive and you get a lot of the players that they play junior league, now the same players that they play schools as well. So like the Amadea, the PO, um, collegiate and all these other schools. So we get competitive leagues going on. So now through that side and then sport with talents, then I begin practice with Edwards at the early age where they from three, play for the school. So I'm very, very well. I've been really small, but I get the opportunity I mean, for the go watch the Arginas, the Tostao, Jimbu, Amidu Karim. So then I'm in the idol then. So I've been Edwards primary, Edwards, Edwards practice field every day after school, just for go see them great talents here where they play football. And from there, Ali Kurze begins to see me say, okay, I mean, I'm some group of them give me the opportunity. Okay, growing up as a kid, was football always the very first thing you want to do or you develop the love for football because you see your elder brother then beat it, play football? Yeah, but I said before, we get less opportunities. <laughs> you know, get to not play football, what else you can do? Because football yeah. are less very, I mean, you can play on with, with the play on the street with barefoot and all. You know, so you can just mm -hmm. get up and start to play. So it'd be easy, easy for get connected to. So then my own area when we come out, you know, go see long court or you see basketball courts. <laughs> so or golf courts or whatever. So there is no way you can do you fall in love. With so I actually even fall in love with football. I don't even know it's not football. I don't even know how to play to that level. Yeah. So you see, so 
Patek fall in love with the sport. In 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 1994 to 1995 uh, season, you left all you left all the audience, and then you get your first contract for a professional contract or go now a Lebanese club where they call uh, Tadamon uh, So um, uh, inside Lebanon. Talk to me about that. How how did it how did it come about? Um, um, for me, uh, I think say now I mean the, the first I mean, into whatever as um, a small boy dreaming, say, okay, in mean, you have to play into the highest level because when you begin for watching um, the Premier League, nobody that sound you know, then the, the DST, the kind of cross, and all this. What is what did you watch game now? So, nobody in a salon that much. So, for they look game reason from going to NP and the money for pay for going inside, maybe you go then I do three left five minutes to the game, then put you inside, you go, you go watch for the game for your football. Then after you fall in love with the sport, then you say, okay, me say, if I go left for play overseas one day, I go left for playing on TV, let me people then see me, let me family then see me. So now that one I'm be doing. So mm-hmm. what I get in Lebanon, even though not only the, not only the best opportunity way one can wish for, but I'll be just the goal of the flow because I don't do the day. I don't see say, the one day will be the play football way. Um, uh, yes, I'd, they probably they will be better players than me because I accept the fact that in football, people grow in and other people they will be better as they will be better footballers than you. So I say, okay, if the opportunity for Goldie Bannon, why not? So I take a trip, we take the venture and take the risks in Goldie Bannon. It's come out, I mean it come out great. Because why you live in Lebanon, I not be ever I not be even imagine how Lebanon will turn or whatever. So why I get to Lebanon and I see say, oh wow. Hey, now place this now a very good place this for all have good to one I all that opportunity to go to one. And I train very, very hard. I work very hard. I work twice a day, and I become I mean, the best player of the league. The first, very, very, very first season, and I score of like mm-hmm. 15, 16. So was it because of that make them call you now the national team? And how was it like being the youngest now the national team? How many knock you with the Isif Pandey? I mean, they create the airways at Lebanon so that much because you know so we have plenty of players again brothers them and sisters them and Sarah Lee a lot. So the correspondent them with the calm, the information them with the calm which be progress than Lebanon because now me, I think I'm gonna be first, me and Mansari, my man Sare, my other brother, I think I may be there together and I may be live together in the same house and I may get our opportunity today for Lebanon. So we they, we they do so well that I mean everybody, all the newspapers, all the news in Lebanon, everybody talking about me everywhere, every day, every day. So you, you never stop for it about me. So then the Sierra Leone Football Association they hear about me me progress and um, they decide for call. And they not even invite me to the senior national team, they invite me to the junior national team. So that was that time is Ghana. Mm-hmm. Uh, qualifying or you know, qualifying, I don't know what it is again. So um, so my flights from Lebanon, no certain time they the transit them too much for cancer alone, not many, many mm-hmm. flights really can. So I get for past so many stops, then I miss my flight for cancer alone, for getting a salon on Wednesday. So I get mm-hmm. to Sierra Leone. Because they were the salon now, the under 17 team left already to Ghana to go play the game. And also, they like very frequent in Africa. So that once mm-hmm. every week. So as soon as I missed that, I don't no say, I mean, I don't get forget all the flights to go again. So the minute I and the SLFA press, there was some talk. And, um, so they say, okay, if you don't miss the to go Ghana. So, okay, you go. Oh, like and see me elder brother in the national team, the Gina Tumbu, the Kemokai, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. all the national. Okay, and see at the tongue. So they practice the Thursday. I said, okay, in the evening, come to the coach Garincha, call me. It's okay, you can practice with me, no problem. That's how we start. That's all the start. That's the worst thing I need to do. The kind of magic I make, Mr. Sedona, the kind of magic I make. <laughs> but everybody, everybody, for me. From that day, day the Thursday, the Friday, I get into the first team already. So I was wow. so shaky, was and all. So everybody began come close to me. We got me and Junior and America and play for Edwards to start. And I say, no, mm-hmm. no problem. Just you we'll know, see what things happen the next day. Then they get um, a committee with Tyro uh, Maya, when I when I one of the vocalist people there uh, with the late Atu. They so continue to rest. They come my name, Junior Tumbu. They all go meet the coach. Say, okay, we don't say very, very young, but we go move for play time. Let's stay and play with me. But then, ten and day, you get the likes of Lyndon Thomas, Bana Loco, Umo Kabia. So we get Musa Kalo, my brother, my elder brother, they all be there. So there is no way I think to the team. There is no way for our play. It's not. I don't even think about it. I say, say I go for play in the game. Mm-hmm. So 
it's the Friday game, so I put on very good performance. And the Saturday, I happy for them the first eleven. Mm-hmm. That was me. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I can think now. Oh, I mean, for can play in front of thirty thousand, forty thousand Sierra Union, the one I ever used to have, can do this. And uh, just put myself together and build me confidence and uh, come into the game. The difficult one for that, after the national anthem, I don't know how I feel. I don't ever feel so I'm in one whole life. <laughs> <laughs> The whole country, the whole you know, stadium, they, they sing the national anthem with us together. After, I mean, I don't know how I feel. So get into that mood, build me confidence, and then play. Since that day, they were going to the team. I know I ever come anymore for 18 years. Wow, wow. That, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a fine story, you know, yeah. because um, you, 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 you know me, you know me mentor, not so they call you for, but when you come, I mean, because of uh, uh, the ambition that you get and the, and the game, uh, you end up for stats uh, from the national team. And since that way, you make a debut, you continue with the team for 18 good years. So now let, let me talk about your, your professional football. You, you spent one season now um, a Spanger IS in, in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, before uh, you, you signed for, for Inter Milan. And when you get to Inter Milan, there are different teams the way you, you play with. Now, uh, moving from uh, how the old that whole deal they come about because you've been in Alibaba, they do well. Um, uh, before we, you know it, um, you you were in Spain. Okay, I go always say, I mean, I, I can always think say, I mean, I'm a miracle kid. Always say magic and a miracle <laughs> because it was it, it was never meant to be to happen as well. Because from Edwards, even from Edwards, for play with Edwards Division One team, I mean. It'd be impossible. The play junior league, I'd be so into league, having fun with my friends and all. Mm-hmm. One day I go, but rain come, you know, say salon, where rain come, most of the players not go practice. So, mm-hmm. run out of numbers, you know, they get enough players that that it is. So, I'll be there up, I wear my uniform to assist, then I wear my t shirt. I'd watch the practice. So, nine junior and for call me, say, okay, it will not complete, can't play. So, I go practice the same day. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm practicing. The same day, I did very well. Case the coach said, "No, you can for come the next day for practice again." I said, "Okay, I can practice the next day." The Saturday game, in people are the first team. Just imagine from junior league to the first team of Edwards to toss out. I mean, um, mm-hmm. and I saw I played the first game for Edwards, and that game mm-hmm. I against for a mm-hmm. fantastic. So I make it into Edwards team, and I play the whole season. So wow. the same way, same way I saw I get into the national team back. I was not meant to be part of the senior team. They can do this your team. The same way with Inter Milan as well. I did left Sweden. So I go to Sweden, spend four months with Spong at Sweden. Mm. Um, I get, my agent then prepare a video for me in the, the Spong, Spong Cup, Cup day. The mm. Gotia Cup. All these important junior leagues them day. So they score. So they put videos together for me and send them to various around the world. So one of the clubs the way he spawned will be Kaisers Lecton with the Germany. Mm-hmm. And they invite invitation they invite me to come me. So I was on my way in Atlanta to Milan. So I began to take like a two days to Milan because of the Italian agent we do the deal a based in Milan. Mm-hmm. So when I come there for there for two days, then I say, okay, I'm looking for there for two days without practice, benefit for me one small field or somewhere else to practice. So that everything starts now. So then come back again even time after dinner and they say, okay, we get inter, inter. Oh, okay. So you can go practice with inter. So okay. The first time I go practice with it, uh, practice, having for practice with the team. After 20 minutes, well, I don't play after 20 minutes because most of the, the directors and the coaches, they are around. After 20 minutes, then they say, no, man, go take shower. So I begin to doubt now. Hey, what happened? <laughs> they put me. And so, well, I take shower. So the lady come with the speak. Lady, I come and say, no. And say, you have to come. No, the other day. I say, oh, OK. Well, no problem. So the next day, that was the way. That was the Tuesday. So the next day, now I go practice with the senior team on a Wednesday. Mm. Hmm. Go the back mm. again. May I just imagine the likes of Roberto Carlos, um, Zanetti, Ronaldo, Poli, all these big names. <laughs> Nicola um, Begomi, these great names. We play World Cup and all. Why well, we don't watch the way they play, anyways? Mm-hmm. So go practice to them. I do very, very well. Do very, very, very well as well. The first day practice. Fortunately. Yeah, do very, very well. So then say back to Africa practice the next day. So the next day was a Thursday. Mm. So I go practice at the Thursday practice, then call me at the office the next day, then they give me five years. They say I have to sign up. I say, okay. So call me agent. I say they don't offer me contract. What you all I do? He say, no, sign. That's how I sign the contract. So you see, so it's all 
<laughs> During the practice, was there ever a moment where you left the ball force and begin to watch Ronaldo? Um, but then telling the Ronaldo was not Ronaldo. That in itself just oh. beginning. So it created an impact on PSG before I me mean, like uh, go to Barcelona, then come to Inter. But he was not, it, it was just like the special player where all his body and mind and all. But he be so young, we need to even get the effect of that. But um, great players, the middle part of that team, the great players, the middle. <laughs> In the, the Dennis Beckham, then I, I, don't, I don't go for calling him there anymore. We can't play as the way I'll be admired. But I begin to admire them after the first day, all oh, going to the dressing room, and you begin to look at them now. So, okay. So I begin thinking about, hmm, they were the whole, most of them they were get ice pass even. Most of them were. <laughs> just, we're not going for play. So then after the second practice, I begin to feel them, begin to go hard with them, and begin to say, okay, I will keep up. So why I don't go play? So then, Begin, they begin make they begin come to me, ask me to come out. Uh, for one year or two years, I they always tell them, say, I come out Sierra Leone. Then, this is Brazil. Say, Sierra Leone, we're in Brazil. So, it comes to a point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so because yeah. they play, always say, I'm mean, a Brazilian. So, I say, oh, okay. So, now, pass away the walk kind of salon now, and I can no now say, Sierra Leone, I come out. All right. When, when they sign you, um, they loan you to different, different clubs them around um, Italy and other places them, you know. How was that for you? Because uh, knowing that, okay, uh, I'm signed to Inter Milan now, you you think, and say, okay, I'm going to be uh, with this with this team. And then, then this, the, the team decides, okay, well, no, you're going to go on loan and different, different teams. How was that for you? Um, at first, you, you, you need to understand. But now they post that one day. You get for go through, I mean, and get experience and did it for the bigger stage. Because there is no way I would play at Inter Milan at that age. It's impossible because I mean, a lot of great players cannot even play. So they decide for sell me alone, go for my first loan at Lugano. So if I'm back, I can do the pre-season with them. I don't begin to say yes, development day, improvement day. Then I go for the second loan to Bologna, from Bologna go Genoa. Then I begin like uh, fall in love with the Italian football. Now you want to play all the time. So they will give you alternative. Come Inter, you go there on the bench or sometimes you're not going to play what you want to do. So now they don't say yes, you don't pass 18 now, you don't retain 18 for making your decision for you. So we'll say, okay, if you want loan, okay, this team, this team, this team wants you. Which one you want to choose? Then you choose the team you want to go. So from mm -hmm. then I go to come back, come do places and I go to Regina. So after Regina, I hit the limelight because I score about 21. Mm -hmm. um, in Italian Cup and all. So like um, 11 goals in the league and of 21. So from that time now, I don't build my own confidence now. So yes, I can I can compete at the highest level. With any. So come back now, Inter, but still, if you get the Zamorano, Ricoba, a lot of great players the middle So I said, okay, now weigh me options. So I wait until the last day of the market. Now I move to Vicenza because mm -hmm. I know Seattle will be, there will be the fourth striker or fifth striker. If me not the twelfth striker, I will be win. But I go to Vicenza. Play for it for 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 a season, mm -hmm. then the confidence. You know, then I return back to Inter now. So the year when we, as I reach the first door, I reach the dressing room. Nainzanetti, Cordoba, all the old players come with me. This year you're not going anywhere. You're not going to start. You stay with you this year. Oh, okay. Go <laughs> <laughs> so meet up Inter. I meet the scorpion. I they give them tough time. <laughs> Remember, I they give them serious trouble. So now they say no, I'm not going nowhere. So now I see Inter for four years. All right, well, continue for stay with me. Um, uh, he is uh, Mohamed Kalam, the legendary uh, boy, uh, Sayer Union. We will talk to all the way uh, from the um, you well, from, from Italy, uh, because not really right now, because anytime from uh, this weekend, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna be going back to the US. But uh, uh stay with us. Um, it is the What's Happening Breakfast Show. Together, Blazer, we talk to legendary Mohamed Kalam. We'll take this short break where we come back. The uh, discussion, they continue. Don't go anywhere. Good morning.
e va, e va, e va, carica il destro, allarga Soletta per Ocan, può andare a cross, morbido, Callon, e gol, 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 e che gol mi tocca a Sound and Breakfast Show on Afro Radio, and uh, we are um, in the Trailblazer segment, and we're talking to the legendary Mohamed Kalon. We um, uh, don't reach um, a stage in uh, in Kenya where he gets the opportunity now for coach any team that he wants. When I say any team, anything where you just think about, and of course he's gotten the license. And we talk about in old Kenya how he starts as a young Sierra Union, Tito Usain Ibe. So he don't retire in football now, and because of the love of the game, he has a football team. He also now want for be a coach, and of course he don't qualify for for do that one day. We will definitely come and talk uh, lengthily about that. Um, uh, Wonder Boy, we, we are back, and uh, you 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 move back to 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 Inter. And this time around, the players they say you're not going anywhere. You stay. You stay with them now and um, help Inter for um, you know uh, win the league and 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 and, and, and you know uh, make sure say the club become a very very good club as he been done. There. And the Christian Vieira, Ronaldo, Alvaro, uh, Ricoba, uh, Adriano, Akansuka, Nicolas uh, Ventola, all them players they have in the now this team. How even Talek when they say now everybody say you're not going anywhere. How you you time now Inter in Talek? Um, I mean, <laughs> that's something we go continue for dream every day, and um, because the way I come to Italy, that young, and you begin to see the, the the club, the the mighty of the club. I mean, with huge I mean culture and tradition, and uh, you go from hello Usawi day and the um, hostels. The, Academy of Hostels, you will see all the great players and pictures there, all the Begomi, the Matteo Sama, Luta Matios, uh, all these big players who don't play for Inter in the past. So you see all them pictures until you begin to know the effect, the, the hugeness of the team. So you say for one for say, okay, if you get your opportunity, you, you get for go all out and make it. Then we begin going at the CD, you, you know, the, the, the office, the head office, and see how many workers Inter get past 200 workers and all. And whatever you ask for, I mean, the drivers will take you everywhere. I mean, you want phone, you want gas, like your car, whatever you want, just for putting you in a situation where you're going for play and pay attention and demonstrate your work. Mm -hmm. So what? And, and they say I for stay that season. It's all, as I can say, a miracle as well, because looking at the players that they get at that time, I go no say if I get for playing at that team there, I go in at the number four striker. Because so if you get to Ronaldo Vieri, yeah, this number four players there for playing, Mr. 90 million and Mr. 200 million, they get for playing. <laughs> <laughs> then now you get Akanshuku, you get um Ventola, you get Pacheco, you get Andreano, they get Nicola Ventola. So you see, so now I will serve them. It will be eight, I think next one more and they miss. Uh, we get eight strikers then. Then uh, two get for play, then uh, two get for there on the bench, and then uh, four get for the out. So mm -hmm. I they see and test and evaluate the situation and see if I will get the opportunity or even mean play game. But when the preseason starts and all the begin play, so then they want to luckily for me, why they go back salon and they just go on holidays and they practice every day. So every morning, five o'clock, I don't wake up, I go up to college, and they go to the beach, and they try to build myself every day. It's going to be day. So when they come back, for can do preseason, I already them shape in good shape than every other person because then they, they go to Saladenia, go to the beach, go to the island, then and eat a lot when they come, then get like a few pounds, then a few kilos, then for lose. Mm -hmm. So be in shape. The friendly matches don't begin. We don't begin to score five, five, six, seven goals. So this time they see and they cry out loud for. So luckily for me, the last friendly match will start the league on Sunday. So the last friendly match was on Thursday against mm -hmm. Watford. Mm -hmm. I was very early memory coach for Watford. So the Thursday when I the last friendly match, so I don't play like all the friendly matches. I think I'm not the top goal scorer at that time because 
VAE and Ronaldo, they made so soon, not be that we have the feet. But anyways, therefore play the league starts anyways. So the last game, friendly game, before the league starts on Sunday, on Thursday, they play against Watford. So then play about um, 70 minutes. Ronaldo play 70 minutes, and I get injured. Then VAE will get injured. Then Hector Cooper say, ma wa mop. The kind of I feel. <laughs> the kind of way I I don't play that in Regina and all that stuff, but just for play for Inter Milan, that the last friendly game way after about 30,000 spectators, please be full, blah, 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 blah. Now the first game we'll play with that kind of, type of spectators there, because all the friendly matches we'll be playing are then maybe 1,000, 2,000 fans. But this one, because they're close to Milan, Aleko, so it'll be really, really jump up, warm up, come inside. Luckily, I can only say me and Miracle Kid, I don't know what happened. The first ball where I thought showed a tie, 0-0. Zero, zero. They gave me the 0-0, zero, zero, 70 minutes with Watford. Just imagine, Watford now be, be the uh, champions. Him now, England. Like England. Yeah. We don't play 70 minutes, 0-0. Zero, zero. Very anyone in the strike. We gave it. I come inside. The first ball where I touch from about 25 to 30 yards. I just said, <laughs> that kick. So I just strike the ball straight to top corner, 1-0. The stadium wow. begins... 20 minutes, the game done, not stop for singing name. Wow. Wow, met Carlos. Wow, Carlos. And now we get for prepare for the Sunday game. But still, I'm not going to hope say I don't play because if he, or now not play, or VIA not play, then when we get look at a uh, Koba, I can't shoot Kuna, they have to be the next. Mm -hmm. But then we don't play in the friendly match previously before that friendly match, and then we play. So maybe mm -hmm. play all the. So now then we start that friendly match. So I'll be the first say, if he, Ronaldo need to play on Sunday. Now, one part of Akansu or Ikoba will start the game. So, I'm not going to stay confident. All of a sudden, on Saturday, we we'll practice on Sunday, 11 o'clock in the morning, and call the team in the morning. Hmm. Come on, take breakfast. But you know, then telling the way, where Italian coaches them, international coaches them, when they talk to you, that means <laughs> sometimes you get for play. <laughs> when you're not for play, and then you'll be looking to get the pass to <laughs> So, <laughs> what do you take for breakfast? I said, well, this man, I don't dare pass almost month, one, two months. I never asked me to take for breakfast. Why they ask me to take for breakfast? So me, 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 me head begin something begin play now. So oh, nothing happened. So I begin, I begin sweat by myself now. I go inside room now for sleep. I need for sleep. So I wait them now for lock and So breakfast is about eight o'clock to nine o'clock. So I get two, two hours there. I never set me. I just think, say, I don't think for happen. Come to the meeting, talk in talk in um, do the conference. Game, what we need for do, talk about the system, talk about the formation, talk about the principles and all. So it can cover the, the, the team sheet, it can cover with the first um, chat on the uh, on the board. Mm -hmm. So now if we flip them over and I say, this is not the team where they start. Why see me name? I don't know how I feel again. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet again. Now I begin calling names and now it's so, okay. We play it back for, we play it back, we play it back for, with the plus back for okay, now the me three players in the while. Then Mohamed Kalonango played the NGA as a 10. Oh my god, <laughs> I think that one of the worst them that in there. So, so that the first and then they had to go play in a sense you for Inter Milan. Yes, I don't play mm -hmm. that against, against Inter, maybe four, four times. But for can play against for go play with Inter Milan, Inter Milan jersey, that the heaviest jersey I don't ever wear. <laughs> <Wow. so fast>. <laughs> <laughs> What's it do me? And it's kind of like I put myself together. I was so crazy. So we come to the line now for come up. Yes, you know, see the tunnel, very, very long. So if you pass by the tunnel, come up the stairs. We come up the stairs. We see the fans there, like 90,000 people. We come up, we see, what did they Allah? <laughs> the kind of feelings where they get. Then come to the field, we can look around, you know, after the inspection and all the game start. Game start, first 10 minutes, now it's coming first goal. Mm. Wow. I score another goal. Oh, now I don't buy the supporters. I don't buy the whole fans and all. And so from that game, it'd be difficult for him to put me out anymore. Then I get me regular support in the team. You, 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 turn uh, in Tamina and you know, uh, you know, draw so many attention to 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 Africans them and um, the, the team where you do uh, Africa Serenians. Of course, we were so proud. Um, you know, we make so many Serenians and begin for go and watch the Italian league. Um, Africans them already, and you became very very popular in Africa for the fact that you made a play among their stars. Because I remember uh, one interview where you do with BBC, where I asked you who is the 
greatest player where you don't play with amongst all the top players that you, you mentioned, and I mean, Conte, uh, Gino Tumbo. Why was that? Um, that's the fact. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't see that kind of talent there. Um, let's say I don't see that um, the one the Roberto Baggio, because I play with Roberto Baggio on the same team. I play with four world best players on the same team. I play with Roberto Baggio, he win the world best player. I play with Rivaldo, Cannavaro, and Ronaldo. But what team do you know to possess? It's okay, in as much that probably you not know, reach to that level and you know, reach to that level there. But the talent, the raw talent we may see in that guy, hmm. I don't ever see him. Maybe, okay, like talent in that way there, somebody, it's a big play the ball. It's a big deal with the ball. It's a big <laughs> it's ball master. I don't ever see somebody able to master the ball like I'm picking cardio at any time. You radio, you know, radio in the card, you know, that kind of player. Then. We I mean, it do things. Then. Just money, I play with an Edward too. I play with an Edward. The kind of thing, the way you do up to national team. Some games in the national team, the way they touch the ball is so different. The way they eliminate players is so different. Then it's very, very smart as well. So when I come back to Europe and begin to see all these players, probably the Baggio, the Roberto Baggio, the George Ware, the um, Marco Van Basten, the Ronaldo. So Ronaldo, probably not the greatest player we may not ever see. Yes, close to. Now practice, nobody never stop. And the only player that can three, four, five players in score, nobody not touch him. Because he gets all, all what it takes. He's physically strong, he's technically good and all. But when you camp a raw talent, you know, to win kind of special player, very special. Okay, um, when you be there in Italy, you were so, um, you be want to do so much. Was the fact that you being there, you having the opportunity at that particular time where you know, say other player than be there, Salon, where no get those opportunities. Was that one of the things where they, you know, drive you for do so much? Um, as I said before, we, we would have less fortunate people, you know, yeah. you know very small for they get the kind of people for even rich now, now they know. And, 10 years or they enter, and you begin to look the opportunities, how it's very, very slim. Maybe it happens, say, I mean, other opportunities come where they begin to take players and go Sweden from the FC Calabria. Yeah. But before back then, it'd be so difficult. You never foresee. Like, I mean, also, I don't get, I don't get um, a role model in a Sierra Leone where we talk, say, this person now for play like, this person now want to do more than this person. So they let Ishmael die for me, so continue to rest in peace. It'd it be so talented and all, but unable for compete to that level. The Mazola, the Gino Tumbo, the Gino Parade. I mean, these are all not talented, great, great, great players. They maybe don't see, maybe don't play to their agenda. Then great players, but they don't get the opportunity for play to that level. So that means it, I know we get somebody there in front of me. We don't pave the way already. We don't set a level way, a standard way of able for some fans. So where are they play for? Where are they play in Italy? The one thing we aim for motivate yourself, you you as a player now, you self the motivate yourself for. Because we don't see the opportunity, we don't see the luxury, we don't see the achievements where great players like they got oh, Roberto Baggio. Just imagine, are they Lebanon or they watch Roberto Baggio where they play World Cup, 1994 World Cup? Now they Lebanon. So I watch how they play World Cup. So just imagine come back to Bologna and can sit down at the same place, room, very close to me. And Nami and me they play every day. Every day we play. So when you see all that opportunity, now you if I get this opportunity for dinner this week, we other players they're not gonna forget back home. Thousands of other players they let away back at us with good passes. But me getting this opportunity, I'm making so far. So I get to go and fight all hard and play for myself, play for my country, play for my family, play for my family. So that's why that, that's how they it. And you did you did well, you did justice to Sierra Leone. We're proud of you, and um, yeah, we're really proud of you. So so um, um after me Inter Milan, you you moved to, to to France, you moved to to, to Monaco. And uh, you spend some time there, you play along the likes of uh, Adebayo and a host of uh, other players. Then, how, how was it? Because um, Italy, I mean, you, uh, you, you like you base, you move around uh, to some things in uh, uh, Italy there. But uh, when you move to, to, to France, how have you been talent like, for you? Um, it's not be, I mean, um, not just for change, because if you don't stay, I don't know, Italy for 10 years, I mean, only at the system. You know how Italian football stressful past all football and one on the wall. So stressful. In and out of the field, not stress. You never work on a street. Then uh, you come to a team like AC Milan, where the journal pressure you every day. Every day they get things for a hard talk, any day they get. So even for play, then international, I mean, they call the team International Milan. Inter Milan wants all the great players in the world. So you see Inter player, they can't play. They go. Every year we get 45 players then before the league starts. Then go for 
they they come to 30 players. So like in Tamil, they get like a 30 players. Most of the other team will get 25, 26, then mm. and then younger players there. But in Tamil, they be a team. Maybe not three or four Italian players don't know what they get out team. All the rest are foreigners. And then foreigners, then they, the international players then for the country, most of them are captain for the country, then the Brazil, the Argentina, Uruguay, all the, 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 the country. Then they. So it'd be so difficult to compete on a regular basis, year after year, week in, week out. It'd be mm. so difficult. Sometimes you go mentally, you're exhausted. You're mentally exhausted. Yeah, because the, pre the preparation for the games at inside the game, the game there, very, very easy. Very easy because you get time and space to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. The practice session, then, because of time it feels that with the play ball, who said 22 players the inside the you know, you forget injury every day because everybody wants to play. They, they play bad, bad foul, bad tackles, and all. So you always get to prepare yourself mentally. Then after the field now, the supporters of the fans then are the fans then and get to Italy. Maybe the AC Milan fans be so moderate and all, but Inter Milan fans, they want 100%, 110% from every player every day. The worst part of it, the Inter Milan gets the Inter channel. So that mm -hmm. means when Inter, all the fans them around Italy, they watch them on TV. Mm -hmm. So it's just like why I left my wife and me picking They watch me picking They watch me on TV while they practice. So you see that kind of pressure there. Then, then they get fan page of the week when they did they pick the team. So they get the coach, technical team and team, and the fans that they pick and team. So these are the fans that will and criticize the players. Okay, now nice people. We put all that that year. The pressure so high. So I get the opportunity, um, Monaco because I will get a lot of in England from Newcastle, from from Borussia Dortmund and all. But um, while while I see while where the chances of uh, I mean we start go out for play and go up. Mm. Uh, I want to go Fiorentina and Fiorentina more. I want to go. So can I go for two minutes in Italy? But I think about the stress, the pressure, and all. So two days before I left, now in Desham, did they Desham call me and see if they play in Italy? So he called me, but go to one guy, when a French who play for France as well, in a um, La Moche, mm -hmm. Ivory Coast and all. I think I had a question or something. Uh, he called me, so when Desham called me, so first time La Moche they called me, they provoked me. Hey, I want to make a play for Monaco, blah blah blah. So ah, La Moche left provoke me, no. So now, now Deschamps maybe they call me. So they call me. and the offer they make for me, there's no way I can turn them down. So yeah, yeah. So now I saw from Monaco. When I get to Monaco, I was, uh, uh, I was very excited. I was very, very happy because you meet young players that meet with Evra, Mina Debayo, Nanda, uh, Michael. It will be a very good team. Savi, very, very good, and we have a very good time. I get good time now. Like, now, now Monaco in terms of playing because I gave me freedom. I for play, I want for play. Inter mm -hmm. Milan now, the stars then they on top you eight. All money tell you I for play. The, the coach <laughs> or do this for touch ball, one touch. Ball. You say them for be yourself. But when I go to Monaco, I able for exhibit my own talent. I be able for play. I have me one for play. You 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 also um uh, uh, play some games in the in the Champions League. We I mean a, a landmark team for for Sierra Leoneans, them for to be one of uh, uh, the the first Sierra Leonean players to play in the Champions League. We you know be very huge at that time for there. We see uh, Sierra Leonean they play uh, uh you know then a, a, a team where they play the Champions League where people and take very high that the world. So um after which you 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 left France, you spent some time in France, and then you you moved to um. Uh, um, uh, what's, what's the name of this team? You, you move, in January 2008, uh, you signed a six month contract with uh, the Greek team, Wena AEK um, uh, uh, FC. Um, uh, and also, you later moved to Al Shabab, now the United Emirates, and Denton and the Nigerians. They say, Well, it's like my Kalon, it's all about the money now, it's about going out and, and, and getting the money. Any, anything you want to say to that? Um, so I moved from Monaco, so mm -hmm. after. In Monaco in 2004, 2005, I do extremely well. So the the sheikh from from Alitiad from Saudi Arabia, mm. Monaco. So the kind of offer when they can make to Monaco for loan me to Alitiad for a year, mm. then the champ no want me for go, but the club don't put pressure on the champ. Say this offer when they can offer for Mohamed Kalon for just ten months, mm. it go able for. The players there for the team. So the champ called me and tell me about what. Okay, so but why? I mean, why this? Why why this? What what is the plan? Because I can always ask for projects for the team. The project they want to build the team, but Monaco is all about the money. They tell me there. Mm -hmm. Any player with 
you know, sell the Evra, the Adebayo, all these players, they sell them to I mean, Manchester United, sell them to Arsenal, that's what they do. They develop players, they sell them. If the same thing, in back them, Bakayoko, all these other players. So he can meet me, he say, okay, you get a, I mean, uh, an offer on uh, Saturday Arabia, and they check the men at the hotel, I say, no, I have to talk to you. I say, okay. Then I go there, I meet the check them, I say, oh, okay, because it's not the team they made the decision. Okay, let's get what you are. So, okay. Yeah. Go listen. So because me, why they go there? Because I get two offers already on the table when I'm in Newcastle and Arsenal. Mm. So I say, okay, but if you don't want to go to Saudi Arabia, that means you're not willing to go anywhere. So when I go, talk to the director, I say, oh, okay. But I get other offers they made on the table. Yeah, they say the offer they made on the table with this offer, yeah, so you look at the interest of the club as usual. Mm. So talk to the, 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 the Saudi guy then. And the first offer when they put on the table, they don't double the offers from Arsenal in Newcastle, all of them already. <laughs> okay. I think now say, okay, the inferiority of the league. So what's not the standard? If I go there, I go still in the limelight, I go still go before compete to the highest level. We think get for happening now. I said, ah, okay, no, no one this offer. They check cash the paper and write another offer again, had another 50% again. Then I look and back there, they still think the same way. So okay, if I go Saudi Arabia, that means I'm not gonna come out from Saudi Arabia anymore. Then I mean, I'm not going to rely on that to compete. I mean, if some people and look for see me with other players anymore. Mm -hmm. Then I say, oh, I say, okay, well, I'm going to hotel. I go to. Then they say, no, today next, then they fly, then they fly out of Monaco today night. So we for do this deal today. I said, well, I'm not, when I put me under pressure, then I'm not going to have time for ask nobody. My manager, the midday, we start to talk. Then I say, okay. So they, they check cash the paper again. The last offer we put on the table, no player at the world, no day. <laughs> <laughs> No player, I would say. So if they give me maybe five times double what they make in Monaco, then obviously you get for go. So when I see that offer, then I say, okay. Then I go. I go for 10 months, play very well, win the Asian Champions League, be the top goal scorer, be the best player of the league there, and, and then return back to Monaco. But wait till I don't go see Saudi Arabia, I don't have to come to Monaco anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, because I begin to think, say, oh, okay, um, my age, my age, they add every day. How mm -hmm. long have So if you look, let's say, you never play for the next five, six, seven, eight years. If you do in Saudi Arabia for five years, only five years, then you will settle down for life. I say, okay. La de Salon, la no camp prices in, uh, in, uh, in Monaco. So they call me, they shout me, they call me. I say, no, I don't want camp because I want to go back to Saudi Arabia. They say, no, I for camp. Pass then take me go FIFA, then FIFA call me, we get a lot of argument, then I get for you turn back. So I try hard, but I'm able. So I get for you turn back to Monaco, then play for Monaco for a few seasons. And then after the Champions League against Liverpool, because they play me out of position, then they play me in a midfield. Because originally, me a midfield player. So even while they play, people don't know, say, okay, I will be dealing with the ball properly as I will pass and all. So they want me for play midfield. But if you play midfield in like Europe, you need to get, get market value. Because I do always score plenty goal and again market value. So if you know the mm -hmm. score, then you need to play close to the goal, then you get opportunity for score. So now they put me far away from the goal that I struggled for score the second season. So imagine the first season for Monaco, I score 18 goals. So the second season, if you begin bringing me camp backwards, there are no good opportunity for score. So now I vex, I go meet time, I say, no, well, I get off as the other side. Who say they want to play me offensive, they want to play me as a 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, they want to play or they can play me as a 10 or coming from the wing from the left, wake it up and say, I can still develop and play as a 10 as well. Then they say, ah, oh, no, 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 blah, 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 blah. So we fired to Dan there. I didn't bench one or two games against Bastia. Then I come inside back and score. So first we didn't go back and forth. I say, okay, well, now we cancel the contract. Let everybody walk off away. Because I mean, think, say, okay, I will cancel the contract and go back to Saudi Arabia if I be free player. But then give me serious tussle. So I go back to IK Athens. So we value mm -hmm. the play. And maybe they play Champions League as well. One of the best teams inside Greece. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, the guy who they play with me, Zeke also they play with like Monaco. Instead, they play, instead they don't move kind of from Greece, they play mm -hmm. and they win the European Nations Cup. So instead, mm -hmm. don't go back to That last day, instead, don't move back to Greece. So then call me and convince me for good. So now so I'll go play for them for six months. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. In, in the national team, yeah, there's a question, tricky question here. We uh, we will follow you answer. What are the player them or the coaches them uh, in the national team way? You be always like following them there around when you become uh, on the, the, the fixture of the national team. Uh, national team, they be like a family. They be happy. 
happiest I mean moment, the biggest satisfaction. Yeah, so we get we get national team call up, we did go for go meet your friends, then you bother them, see your family, and yeah, that is the happiest moment now. Mm. So we be, I be cool with all the players, I'm cool. but when it comes to maybe performance, players they would make things easy. Obviously, all my go college, you know, to be part of the team every day. <laughs> yes, and uh, but with the coaches, them no, I be fine with all the coaches, them because they 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 try them best, they give them best. The likes of the Obi Meziga, the Ofi Jobo, Christian Cole, Gaincha, all of them that they do good. You know, they need the experience we then get. And obviously, they know. I don't think they didn't cross overseas for several years for able to know the methodology and how for for display sessions, plans, and how for develop the team and all. But they did great. They qualified with the National Cup twice. And kudos to them. And also, you move back and you do so many um, establishments. Nadi Conti, you 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 invest uh, na um, the 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 Cal Box, Old School, FC Calon, Calon Radio, um, the Mohammed Calon's um, Children's Foundation, uh, Calon Sport Shop, Moti, and you know the massive building where you construct na Aberdeen Beach, and a whole lot of you know investment. You you actually go into a way we believe Sedani gets for doing huge amounts of money. Uh, um, why you be decide to take up all that step then day at once? And and any regrets there? Yeah. Um. So now one thing we may ever get. Um. I'm not getting regrets for doing nothing. I mean, okay. to every, even though probably with now with so much experience now and um, exposure, uh, probably I would think I mean and do things the right. But you know, then tell them the way you get the, the opportunity or you, you achieve so much and you think it's a time to pay back. Um, you get your obligation, it's like you're obliged, I mean, for pay back to your country for help and develop other young people and where they are around. So then we, and I said, we're able to develop other young people and so that's how the chain going to go. So this is not what I've been thinking about. So, okay, now establish businesses then, now, now, now salon, way to my here for fall back to. So mm -hmm. get people that talk to them business there properly and then move. So the biggest mistake where I do maybe now for you know, trust in people then probably not get the, cap the capacity or the capability. I mean, for one shot an entity with huge amounts of investment and all, but you know, go blame them because at that time, dinner salon, how many people able for one million dollars or two million dollars or five million dollars, it's impossible. So get somebody news just from the booze or maybe from college or whatever, and put them in control of them kind of huge amount of money and they obviously get for lost tracks because a lot of distraction and the clubbing, women, or a lot of things there. So we all know. So by the end of the day, I'm not getting nobody for blame. For me, it's just experience. I don't blame all the people that we mean do what ever I mean go wrong or whatever whatnot. I, I know he gets um, a shot because I do uh, genuinely I do it with my heart. And uh, one of me, 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 me the thing I wait for, for for swear to every day is I do and genuinely for support Sierra Leone them for support young people them for develop young people and, and empower young people them so they're going for stand by themselves and try to empower other people them. Now Emma cannot go ever regret them and I forgive all the one they will do them because at the end of the day I just take them as experience. It's life. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk, talking about talking about women with men, uh, you're married and you get two kids. Let's just differ a little bit from your sporting and your investment. Let's come to your family now. How you meet with your wife? You know how the relationship starts. We want to see you had one of the biggest boy, wedding kind in of a person. <laughs> Tell me how, all, how, 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 how all of that starts. Okay, first of all, I would just say thanks to the Almighty Allah for. He reward me with a beautiful woman, a strong woman. I mean, <laughs> for the BND scene and like uh, emphatically woman where they, they I mean with all things, with any kind of thing, they accept everything and they there for support to me and give me like two beautiful kids where I adore and love to death and uh, give me girl picking all the karma and then I get more Mohammed Kalon Jr. I mean, I love her so much. And so with the support, with that woman, you know, giving me a whole life. Um, I'm not saying I'm not for even achieve what I achieve. So be like a TBO owner to call me for do this interview. If not to because of my wife, because I know how how it can go for support me and make sure say we able to accomplish which we don't accomplish. Be like a TBO. That is beautiful. That, that that's beautiful. <laughs> and then you know uh, we see exactly you exhibit that because uh, the wedding in Sierra in Sierra Leone you do um, you know be very huge. Uh, so many stars then come and uh, you know that that be, be very huge for Sierra Leone. But let, let me come back to football. You you, you get a, a team. You're passionate about the game today and you decide for a uh, set up a team. What did it take you for decide for set up a team like FC Calon? What are some of the horrors that we go to? 
Um, okay, so to be honest, the only way why for pay back to Sierra Leone is not for make sure say I ever forget a football team or I will be part of development in any other way when you get for, when what you get for the football way and my own speciality now so I get passion for now that area I feel comfortable. So when you begin to think about the things that we for help and pay back to Sierra Leone, what you for do. I think say because I get this team, this FC Cologne team with a name after me, where I'm not be happy with about. I try for change and say you know, agree because I don't like when we name the after something or whatever. So then we start this team now. Like from Gambia, the team starts. Yeah, I think they exist for like a three or four years because during the war, my Gambia be the goal all the day. So now that be the first half, I be the goal leave all the time. Then until the war finish, then where I can I, I play so ungrateful. Where you see the war finish as long, I go back Gambia again. Not for the past fifteen years. <laughs> <laughs> That's so selfish. So then in 2000, 2001, and then moved the team from Gambia. So Sharif Suma and other players, then we get opportunity for getting the Sierra Fisheries. So we buy out that team there. We want to name the team Golden Dragon or something. I, I, can, mem I can remember saying we want to name the team Golden Dragon or Golden something. So they all know to the Scott them and uh, low below and other people them say, no, 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 no. The team for name FC Kalona, the FC Kalona. I said, oh, okay. I uh, will have another choice. So they named the team FC Kalona, buy the team and then bring in players them because when we get a lot of players them, experienced players who don't play in the league for a long time. But after one year, two years, and I think I can't tell you what's my own project, what's my own thought, okay? I want for help underprivileged kids because me not be underprivileged picking away within the streets, grow up from the streets, very difficult. Only you come up from a, from, from a background, from a family background, we not able to sustain them family with difficulties, with job, with other things. Them. I felt that. So I know, say, Boko picking and they come out of disadvantaged communities, them like the Moaf, like the Mabela Bay community. So these are the areas that we picking and want for play football. Because you have yeah. police, football at the common Winkinsy Road, or come on High Mats, or come on inside in the Spore Road. No, it's impossible. So most of the great players, they don't come out, they are all communities, they don't come out. So I begin to say, oh, no focus on grassroots football. No begin to take them small, small one, and they will not get the opportunity for even buy boots for themselves or buy jersey for themselves. No begin giving them facilities, then they so they go able for begin focus and and take the game I mean as the profession. So that's so what we do now. So youth level, we can get under 10, under 12, under 14. Up till now, then we don't establish that as alone. And so till, till, till now, FC can be prioritize grassroots football because that's the only way forward for them to replace the players them where they play for national team and all the players where they play for Sierra Leone for, for FC Calon as well. Because now if you look 90% of the players where they play FC Calon, now home gun players, the players who don't get from 10, 12, 13. Now they play for the club right now. So this that's only one for and then the only way that I make for pay back to my country. So now I make you go find out, say nobody need to hear about the Monica Calon Children's Foundation anymore because I incorporate that to the, the football team. So I do um, underprivileged kids through the uh, foundation through football, and for support picking them through football. So we we'll get before we give scholarships for picking them, put them at school, pay for them everything. But now it's like a, a, a trend, a routine. So most of the beginning all the get to the gym, and come on board, pay for their school fees, give them proper uniform and all, give them proper I mean, equipment for play football, and then um, develop them because we get um, the great technical team. They lead by um, my big brother, Wina Musa Kalon, very smart, very intelligent. We do carry him. Charlie Wright, Minkemokai Kalon system, all these other guys in there around we do fantastically good job for make sure say we're able for um elevate the young one and give them the, the opportunity one for playing football. All right, so let, let, let me come back to let me come now to the main thing because this is the exact thing why we, we, we all we decide for 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 get this interview. You know, um uh, um, at some point, we you know say you want to go into the um, SLFA presidency, but um, we'll put that on the whole force. Now, um, you don't become, um, you don't complete your um, UEFA Pro license as a coach. We don't qualify you for um, a coach any team that you are. You know, talk to me about this because it starts, I mean, like you don't get other um, uh, coaching certificates, coaching uh, degrees then um, when you start, when you, so when you left Banana when you be focus on. And finally now, you don't get the UEFA Pro license. Talk to me about that. Um, Nabia, I mean, Nabia, a long journey for puts together six different certificates then. Yeah. In, uh, I think I could say six years. Uh, that be a difficult journey for start because uh, for transfer, do that transition from playing to where probably people are not going to for no say for play football and for coach that two different things. Mm -hmm. 
you have to go through the process. And within that process, they, you have to do the call system, whether from B license to A license, A license to poor license. Mm -hmm. So a lot of challenges, I mean, as you can say, it's time consuming, financially challenging, it's difficult for good too. So I started in um, 2015, we are doing the first wave for B license. Mm -hmm. And uh, in here, simultaneously, I have to do the USF B license as well in America. So mm -hmm. I mean, so I finished those both um, Bs, and then I move. I proceed to the A license. Where mm -hmm. I do the same. Basically, I did one in the US, and I did one in the Italy. Because right. the time then the the schedule was the the Italian license. Where it comes to A license, I get for dinner Italy once, mm -hmm. once every month, one week in every month. So that means you go for pay flight ticket, you go for come and pay hotels and all and all. Mm -hmm. But the most all the causes, within the causes then, now the assignments and the practicals that we go for do. Okay. Challenging. Thousand words, five thousand words and all. Moreover, they are making they are making system in the more focus on the educational aspect of the game than the all aspect of the game. Okay. And uh, so most of the time they own coaching courses that is about leadership. It's about performance environment. It's about I mean, empowering the coaches so much that they look for teach the beginner for play the right way. Whereby Italian um, sector then be focused on the technical and tactics of the game because they know say because the the physical side of the game, the physical preparation or the methodology or other things then other people they need to occupy them positions then they so they free the coaches then so they able for them. But America now they want the coaches them for teach for protect the players them as well. So you get for do for board med sport medicine, you get for do mean methodology well, for prepare the players them as well. So now make it be difficult. We want all through that mean where I do the A license. So my, mind you, when you do the A license done at Italy, they get the A and B license where they put together for assess and evaluate your standard for see if you're able to qualify for do the poor license. Because the poor license is just like we get law degree. When you get a law degree, then you can get for call you to the bar. It's not like you pass to go to the bar. Because they're going to assess you and what you do for you. So it's the same thing. They, they qualify by points. So they put the points together and then call you for can do the poor license. So the poor license, they want for one year. They want for one year, then once every, you get for the night Italy for 10 days or eight days, and you get for go, I mean, it's clubs to clubs. So we happen for go to Bologna, um, Lecce, Parma, and then we do, during the, the coronavirus, we do Bologna on Zoom and do mm -hmm. Fiorentina. That's what we do for travel. But um, the whole course be so, 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 so challenging and uh, get a lot of assignments. And like I would say, I always will continue for bless my wife. Say thanks to my wife for a great job. We do great support. Miguel picking the all on the type here and the other people the agram and the whole man is so busy. So it's so difficult. But I mean, thanks to Allah I mean, to, the, to the end and everybody is proud of me, which is very, very important. Right, okay. So um, now that um, you don't complete the, 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 the course and um, you are uh, a proper coach now, you can coach any team now in the world, what's, in, what's in next for Mama Kalon? Because uh, Umo has it, well, we, we see Amran, you say you begin intention for one for be um, SLF uh, president, but now you are a qualified coach for coach any team now in the world. What's in next now? Um, first of all, so let us move back to the license. Hmm. All the struggles, um, with all the challenges and all, forget the license, it's fine. Forget the license, it's fine. It's, I mean, it's satisfactory. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you go celebrate as much as you want, but mind you, the certificate is just a certificate, it's just a paper. Now you get for demonstrate, you, for you get for defend their license, yeah. For them to say, yes, you do something out there. Okay, mm -hmm. so in as well, I'm gonna do a few things for the last five years and all, and I say, say, I do up to the tax if I get the opportunity. So now what I want to do, I want to take this few months, three to four months, and reflect again. Because one, I think say I get for the I, mean, I get for play justice to my family for the for 2015. I don't ever go holidays with my wife. I never take picking in nowhere because I never focus on study all the time and turn the things they mean. So I want to pay attention to them this few months and see how we can move forward, bring the family come back together and give them the happiness they really don't miss for a very long time. And mm -hmm. meanwhile, I get the CVs and you know, Resume, I don't send them to various clubs them all over the world. And obviously, mm -hmm. but um, within that process, 
if any opportunity come, any opportunity whatsoever come, then I can move for evaluator assessment. If it's viable for me, if you say in, in what taking the challenge, because everything in life is risks. Because normally you know one for go like for example, one of the guys who may do um, the course with uh, Andrea Pilo. Mm -hmm. So during the course, privileged conversations were talking about what you want for do, what's our work or start. So all of we will get this life is when our young coaches then we maybe don't play at the in highest level in Italy. We're very, very recognized by everybody. Mm -hmm. We all want for start pressure, as I said before, the Italian pressure, I mean, pressure from outside, <laughs> it, 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 it's so difficult. So we always say, okay, I want to start with a U19 team that is not the reserve team to the first team. Maybe from there, maybe one or two years, you prepare yourself very well. Because mind you, coaching is all about preparation. It's all about um, repetition. You go for practice every day, every day, every day, and then make you improve and get the experience and get that angle there for able to provide leadership for a whole team. Just imagine, where the coach a team, not only just gonna feel normal, go coach the players, normal. This is not, this is not the finished product. Now you get for provide leadership for your staff. For your technical team, you get to provide leadership for everybody around you first. So it's very, very difficult. So now we're all about starting on that kind of stage there, but in get the opportunity for come and take over the um, Juventus U23 team, so not the reserve team. Mm -hmm. But then is my use of salary, it gets a bad, I mean, bad game in the Champions League and gets eliminated. And all of a sudden, then call on Pilo for can take up the job. So you'll be fortunate and lucky and all. But I accept the challenge. Say, so, okay, well, this is a very good challenge for take. So now I'm the head coach of Juventus and going in first game as well. Whereby the other side of it, whether it be their journey and play for Inter Milan, instead of seeing the same opportunity in a spa, we then get eight games to the end of the season and bring them in. I accept the job, feeling that, say, if I, if I lucky for save the team from relegation, then mm -hmm. I can continue for the Italian league. But also, unfortunately, in team really gate, it lost all the games then in the early gate. So now we get for crippling them in the next two, three years for even stand up back or come up again. So it's all about rig. So me now, the first thing I have to focus on is for build up a technical team, for build up your own staff, right? For confiding in way, for the share the same idea, share, share the same philosophy. And we came for work together a common understanding. And I'm difficult because you know how to go as a single coach, not a team, we get a back back home staff with their in existence already because. The two months we will take for develop the players, then put the players together, come up with a proper system for the players, then play with that system. They will get for take you a few months. You get for take another two months first for understand the coaches the first <laughs> and make them understand you. It don't take another two months. So you see, so that that is a way for you to fail already, <laughs> because you get two people of I mean, people then where you get for educate first and make them know you. We, the main focus will be on the players then. So now I make I want to get a technical staff first, get a team people that I believe in for work with before I ever take a job. So now I just want for you back, relax with your family and wait. But if any opportunity come out, I mean, from the various clubs, they were done. Why well, don't send me, me, me CVs too? Because I play for six different teams in Italy. Mm -hmm. And I play for all of teams, over 15, 16 teams all around the world. So I know, say, probably they can think about and say, okay, there is a way for them to help the team. Maybe they can call me. But within that process, the yes can come. So when you talk about election, say, I will be part of the 2013 election. Yes, I was part of it. And, uh, even though there was some regret and other stuff then because I don't prepare myself properly before getting into that podium day. But mm -hmm. the day, it's life. I mean, it's all about experience. So now make I say, from now to four months, anything can happen. If election mm -hmm. comes enough to the tax, I mean, I want for going for that. And I get the support, I mean, for everybody. I get support from my family as well because they don't get for say yes or no. And then now we see if people for two that challenge the because I mean, I challenge this stuff as well. So now I make a tick the the year and two off for do the um, sports administration. So now I prepare myself very well administratively. I don't do FC Cologne for several years, over 20 years. And I don't know, say probably I before go back and pay back or maybe help for develop football at the country. Because me as a as, um, as an administrator, I don't want to go back to Salon and go talk, say, oh, I want can change the face of football. I want can change the game and all. No, no, there's nothing to change. I just want to be part of them. I go help for develop the game with my own expertise, with my own experience, what I don't get, my own education, what I don't get. I came for pass up over, for make sure so we for build a better foundation for the nation because we need that. For the past 20 years, 30 years, just imagine football don't play, begin playing a salon from 1961. So even when people in the mention say, Mohamed Kalona, the first coach, we don't come a salon, we don't get to polarizing. It's very tormenting for me and a disappointment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
But that's what you get to deal with. That's what you get to deal with, you know. So, um, uh, quick one before before we wrap up. Before we wrap up, um, uh, so many people in like you, you're so popular in Sierra There's no corner now they will not sabi you. You know, I don't deal with some sports people and they say, uh, why mama Carol not going to politics and some presidents and salon? Any to get any <laughs> get any of that kind of plan there? No, but at the end of the day, I mean, the fact is, I gave me political political right. Yeah. I gave me for, 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 for either belong. Or for either buying for whatever position I want for buying for in the near future. Okay. You never, I'm not going to rule myself out completely, but just because of I'm not into politics, I'm not in love with the politics because I'm not able, that some of the things that I'm they were I'm not able for love with and feel, maybe for smoke, for drink, and politics. So when it comes to politics talks, all the things the way they DM politics talk, I don't love, I don't like her, I don't think say, it's just like way, the thing where I hate past the most. Now, we politicians, they go for campaign, they go to them. Uh, 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 inferior community, or let me say, in Ghana community, and go convince people and say, or a village there, say, hey, why well, win? I can't make code for you. I will make you get light. I will make you get good wood. I will make you get food. But these are the basics. These are the things that we feel could get. Now we, now we, now we right forget this that we can't give you the need we. So how people like vote for me because I will give light? No, it should be necessary for be. If for, for, for be for everybody, this is not the first thing you as a president, as a leader, for able to provide for you people them way you they lead. Not to our campaign. It's just like if I go campaign now for, for BFA president, that you go tell the, the delegate they say, oh, no, no, worry, you want win, I will come build stadium. I will make football <laughs> play. My application, that's my, my job, it's part of my job description for able to provide for able to lay the foundation. So now I make an thing to think about politics for now, but let's see what's gonna happen. But now for right. now. I support APs, I support SFPP, anybody doing government. <laughs> All right, well, um, I think um, that's that. That's that. But before you go, Mr. Kalon, me just want to know because from from a small, uh, don't they, yeah, you want me Kalon, want me Kalon, want me Kalon. But what's in actually me don't think looking at you now is how you manage to stay so young still. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that kind of um, strength for able to resist pressure because most of the people who play together, most of the young guys, they the grill up pressure go over them because it's like the worst thing that we've always in their life. Always try to be happy and pressureless and uh, get support from, from, from your wife, from your family. We're able to make them, you know, say, and nothing is special, nothing is worth fighting for in this world because God, nine degree, I don't. And I want small old and therefore put you. So all you wealth you get, I like you get almost a million dollars. If you don't get for it, you want to get at the end of the day. Maybe when you die, say the people that will hate you will not even like like you, and then get for benefits from that money day. So yeah. all right. Well, I um, want to say plenty thank you to you for we take all this time, an hour and 19 minutes for talk to we exclusively about your life uh, growing up to, to this point. And uh, we want also want to say congratulations and uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, make sure when you go for go on the holidays, you guys take proper care of yourself, okay? <laughs> well, nice having you. Thank you. <laughs> All Bye. right, okay, that's um, uh, Mo Kalon, um, uh, Aveyun, Mohamed Kalon, we don't talk to her this morning on the Trailblazers show. This is how we're going to cut it down for today, MGT. Uh, we want to say plenty of thanks to the executive producer, John Conte, to the program producer, Alusan Joseph Mansaye, to the program coordinators, Abdul Karim Sise and Master J.E., to the social media guys, Kamanda and Mako, to um, we host DJ, Wayna DJ Busy, till we meet again tomorrow. I have been made this to MGT. And the undisputed reg. Stay tuned after radio today starts there because the best of reggae tunes is coming your way. Don't go anywhere. Bye bye.